Okay, we're back. All right, we're working on this first one. We already put our our side pieces in here, and we're cleaning it up a little bit. Just to start here. Yeah. There we go. And um, um, and you just want to cut any of the rough stuff off. Now, what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to do a little sliver of wood. I'm going to clean it up almost to the end here on either side. Just makes it much easier than trying to clean up each branch as you go. I should have done that beforehand. So, but anyway, we're doing it now, so that's what counts. All right. These are would be really fun to give away as gifts at Christmas time, or anybody. Uh, one person I know, the person I'm giving the dog to, I'm also going to give um, her husband one of these. He's a landscaper, yeah, or he works in a nursery. So, um, you know, and he does a lot of planting and things. And I know they bought one of my Santas with a tree, and I thought, well, this might be interesting for him. So they'll both get something when they come in a couple weeks here to come visit. And so these are really nice to, and easy to do. They're not hard to do. And, um, you know, they can be an interesting piece. Okay. Now we have it all rounded off here. Okay. So they look pretty good. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the second. So see where it's we scooped it out? We're going to put another notch. A little bit like an eighth of an inch underneath that. Anywhere you want. You know, you kind of go in a row here. You can offset it just a tad. You don't want to go too crazy off offsetting it, but um, you know, we'll do each corner again. Now, the first two rows, uh, because how small it is, I don't put a third one in the middle. Um, so this is what we do here. All right. And again, we're gonna. You can draw them on uh, on each one. You can draw a little thing on here. Uh, I'm gonna just do it from memory here so um, I'm gonna do it kind of deep make sure your glove and your thumb guard is on uh, when you when you do this project um, I was going pretty quick and I clipped my thumb with it pulling it to myself because I was trying to get the depth in it it's really important to have a sharp knife what I'm doing right now is stop cuts a lot of stop cuts and they're wonderful to do um, they come in so handy and all a stop cut if you're not if you're kind of new to carving is just pushing your knife where you want that cut to stop see I want it to stop before it gets there so I put it directly straight in um, and then I come back up with the tip of the knife and sweep it out All right, there we go. It's a beautiful fall day here in PA today. Okay, after you get that done, now you're going to have to go up here and do this little, little, little piece here. And then you go up here and you kind of clean it up. See? You can make that kind of deep too. It makes it look really nice if you can get a deeper cut on this stuff. So you got to be mindful. That one's underneath, so we're going to uh, put this one down this way. And we're going to cut that out. And one more. All right, now we're going to get to the third row. And really, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. As long as you follow the similar pattern, you're going to end up with a, with a little Christmas tree. All right, with a little tree anyway, an evergreen. So now, we're going to cut this out again. But before we do that, uh, we're going to actually put a third one in here. So this is going to be on the flat side. So what you want to do is just make a little V on the opposite way. So this is the branch coming out from underneath. Okay. Just like so. And I'm drawing this on for so that you can see how I'm doing it. It's a little bit rounded on the end. So what I want to do is I want to take the tip of my knife, push it in, follow it down and around. That, sh that turns pretty sharp. I bring it back up. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Down, bring the tip of the knife up a little bit, push it down again, and bring it up. All right. Now I know that takes a little, if you can't do it that way, you can go down one side, turn it, bring this around, and 
do it from the other side. You can also do it that way. It probably is a little safer doing it this way. All right, just like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the tip of the knife and we're just going to cut it out. This is really a nice little whittling project because really I don't use anything um, anything at all other than the knife. Now if you want you can use a V tool and I've done it already because I've made a few of these already just to get a feel of what would work and what wouldn't on this particular project. What you want to do is you just want to take it and uh, if you want to use a V tool you can. You can make the little um, this, the branch down the center and then your your little uh, lines on either side takes a lot more work. I found that this looks just as nice but you know everybody's a little different if you want to put a lot more detail in it you're more than welcome to do that. I'm just giving you a simplistic way of making a tree and you can make them small enough that if you want you can put a little uh, uh, a little eye hook on the top and and hang it in a tree as an ornament if you like or you can have it standing, you know, on a mantle or, or on a table. Okay, so right here we're going to make it a little bit deeper. Wherever it goes underneath something is where you want to actually make it deeper. Alright, so that's what we want to do. And you just kind of, the grain is running up and down. So you're really going with the grain pretty well much of the way, all the way down. Uh, which makes it really nice to cut. You're not fighting the, fighting the grain a whole lot doing this project which is always a dilemma for some people. Okay so now we got all four of these done. Okay so now we're going to go down a little further and we're going to chop another another corner out. Now we're going to go around each one do it again. Alright and this one. Alright and then what you're going to do here is you're going to just follow this up uh, let me show you with a pencil for those of you that need to do it this way. Whoops, I forgot to do that. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, there we go. And cut that out. There we go. Now, what you want to do is you want to take this and you're going to just, you're not going to go right underneath at the corner, okay? What you're going to do, if I can bring this up just a little bit closer for you to see, you're going to take it right here for offset it. All right, same thing here. You're going to offset it. Now, if you want to get a little more fancier, there's a way of doing it, um, which I'll show you in a bit. Let me let me stop this video now. But um, what you want to do? Let me just show you how to start this row. Go underneath here, cut it, do a little cut right underneath so it can free that piece if you cut it. See and now it will free it up. There you go. Alright and then you'll do the same thing over here. You're going to push down, bring it around and then follow it. Alright that's it. And this is what you do all the way down. Now at the next, once you get all your corners done then you go to your next row. And I only use three on, on these and they get a little bit longer each time. Okay, so one will go there, the next one will go probably down here, next one will go down a little further, and they get a little wider. So as you're progressing down on this, it's get these branches are getting a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. So, you know, it's just eyeballing it and, and taking it from there. Okay, so that's my piece there. Alright, I'll be back folks. See, I'm running out of time. So just take your time and work your way down and I'll come back and share how to finish up the bottom portion of it. It's not a difficult project, it's just, uh, it's, there's a lot of cutting to it but it's nice because you're not sanding anything or anything like that. Okay, we'll be back. Bye-bye.